The $10,579 Tesla Model 2 is finally here, and it's breaking every rule. Cool glass roof blocking 99% UV and cutting heat by 15 degrees Fahrenheit, jet blade wipers using 30% less fluid, floodproof underbody wading 16 inches deep, seven exterior features that redefine what budget EV means. But here's what's truly shocking. If Tesla builds this at $10,000, what were others charging you $40,000 for? Could this single car collapse the entry market overnight? Let's dive right in. Look up inside the Model 2 and you'll see something every automaker claims is too expensive for budget EVs. A full panoramic glass roof. But this isn't standard glass. Tesla engineered a three-layer cool glass system featuring tempered outer glass, PVB sound dampening film, and a nano coating that blocks 99% of UV rays and 92% of infrared radiation. California testing under 900 watts per square meter sunlight proved the cabin stays 15 degrees Fahrenheit cooler after 30 minutes compared to conventional glass. That temperature difference isn't just comfort. It's 5% less AC energy consumption, extending your range and battery lifespan. At highway speeds, the layered design cuts roof noise by 3 decibels, effectively halving incoming sound energy. Your seats and dashboard resist fading and cracking even after years of sun exposure. If this technology works so well at $10,579, why do $40,000 EVs still cook passengers with basic glass and force them to blast the AC? The answer becomes clearer when you realize Tesla spent years listening to actual owner complaints while competitors focused on leather upgrades and chrome trim. This isn't innovation for innovation's sake. It's solving real problems that affect you every single day. Which brings us to the next question. If the roof protects you from heat, how does Tesla make sure the rest of the car actually works for real life? Most hatchbacks make you wrestle with cargo because nobody redesigned them around how humans actually move. The Model 2's rear hatch opens 47.2 inches wide with a loading lip just 26 inches off the ground. Compare that to typical hatchbacks at 28 to 30 inches. That 2 to 4 inch difference means your back bends less every time you load groceries, luggage, or gear. Lifting a 44-pound box repeatedly over weeks and months? The reduced strain compounds significantly. The rectangular opening eliminates wasted space from curved corners. You can fit 29-inch suitcases horizontally or stack standard shipping boxes in neat rows without awkward tilting. The foot sensor activates in 0.6 seconds when your hands are full, and the 78-degree opening angle gives full clearance even for taller individuals. If budget-conscious Tesla can engineer this convenience, why do luxury SUVs still make you struggle with poorly designed lift gates? The pattern starts becoming visible. Tesla isn't just making an affordable EV. They're exposing how much unnecessary friction exists in vehicle design because nobody bothered to fix it. But convenience means nothing if you can't even open your car door in winter, which is exactly where the next feature becomes critical. Tesla's own Model 3 and Model Y flush handles looked sleek but froze shut every winter, forcing owners to scrape ice or pour hot water. The Model 2's glove grip handle extends in 0.5 seconds via electromechanical actuator, and a 5-watt heating element melts frost within 60 seconds at 14 degrees Fahrenheit. The thick, contoured grip provides leverage even with heavy gloves. No more awkward pressing and pulling required by flush designs. A hidden mechanical key slot ensures access if your phone battery dies. The difference in daily use is measurable. Flush handles offer minimal finger contact and become slippery when wet, 
while the glove grip spreads force across your entire hand. For elderly users or anyone with reduced hand strength, this small detail eliminates genuine frustration. Tesla fixed a problem their own previous designs created while competitors continue selling frozen handle designs because admitting design flaws might hurt brand prestige. But getting inside the car is just step one. What about seeing clearly once you're driving? Windshield wipers haven't fundamentally changed in decades because conventional hood-mounted spray nozzles were good enough. Except they weren't. The Model 2's jet blade integrates micro-nozzles directly into the wiper blade itself, so fluid emerges exactly at the rubber edge. This delivers 95% windshield coverage versus the industry's 85-88% to 88 average. In simulated heavy rain at 70 miles per hour, the Model 2 maintained 90% visibility after two passes, while traditional wipers required four or more. The system uses 30% less washer fluid because nothing gets blown away by crosswinds. Over 10,000 miles, that several refills saved. Winter testing in Norway showed jet blade retained 95% sweep efficiency after freeze-thaw cycles, while conventional wipers dropped below 70%. The slimmer assembly reduces drag by 2%, improving both range and noise levels. Replacement inserts cost just $12 and take under a minute to swap. If this technology cuts fluid waste by 30% and dramatically improves visibility, why isn't it standard everywhere? Because incremental innovation doesn't justify $50,000 price tags to buyers who don't know better alternatives exist. Clear vision matters, but so does protecting your car's exterior from daily wear, which is where Tesla made another unconventional choice. Drive any car for a year, and the rocker panels, wheel arches, and lower doors get destroyed by gravel, road salt, and parking mishaps. Paint chips... Rust starts and repair quotes hit $300 to $800. The Model 2 wraps these vulnerable zones in trail guard, matte polymer cladding that's 2.5 millimeters thick with Shore D70 hardness, protruding 10 to 12 millimeters to deflect debris before it touches paint. Tesla's gravel loop testing at 50 miles per hour showed 70% reduction in paint damage compared to unprotected bodies. The micro-textured surface sheds mud easily, cutting wash time by 25 to 30 percent. In urban parking, it absorbs curb scuffs and door dings that normally dent sheet metal. Each panel weighs 250 to 300 grams and can be replaced in 120 seconds with a plastic trim lever for about $19. Replacing all four main panels costs less than one minor paint correction session. This isn't just smart engineering, it's a direct challenge to the aftermarket repair industry's profit model. Why didn't any manufacturer think of this before? Or did they deliberately avoid it to protect dealer body shop revenue? Protection extends beyond the body panels, though, especially when it comes to the one feature every EV owner interacts with daily. The circular LED ring around the charging port glows bright enough to see from 50 meters even in daylight at 10,000 lux. This isn't decoration. It's real-time charging status without pulling out your phone. The ring pulses as charging begins, segments fill to represent battery percentage, and color shifts from white to green past 80%. The IP67 rated assembly handles dust and submersion to one meter for 30 minutes, operating from minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Corrosion-resistant connectors survive 500-plus wet charging cycles. In freezing conditions, a micro-actuator delivers an anti-freeze nudge that cracks ice before the charge door fully opens. This weatherproofing and visual feedback costs virtually nothing in production. So why do expensive EVs still force you to check apps for charging status? Because software engagement metrics 
Impress executives more than actual user experience? The halo ring proves elegant simplicity beats hidden complexity. But what good is charging reliability if your car can't handle real weather conditions? The fully sealed underbody works with triple layer door seals to protect the battery and wiring. The Model 2 wades through 16 inches of water for 30 minutes at steady speeds, a capability most EVs avoid advertising because their designs can't handle it. The flat underbody channels water smoothly without splashing into compartments. Splash guards at front and rear wheels split flow away from sensors and connectors. Ventilation systems sit higher than the chassis line, keeping critical components dry during floods or heavy rain. Sensors stay cleaner, and obstacle detection works reliably even in storms. Climate change makes flooding more frequent, yet most automakers still design for perfect weather. Tesla engineers for reality, not best-case scenarios. Is this preparation for infrastructure failures nobody wants to discuss? Seven features solving problems other manufacturers either ignore or profit from avoiding. Cool glass reduces AC load instead of selling premium climate packages. Wide hatches eliminate strain instead of marketing ergonomic accessories. Jet blade cuts waste instead of profiting on refills. Trail guard prevents damage instead of padding body shop revenue. The halo ring shows status instead of forcing app engagement. Flood shield prepares for reality instead of assuming sunshine. At $10,579, the Model 2 isn't just affordable. It's proof that better design doesn't require higher prices. It requires caring about what actually matters to the people who drive these cars every single day. So here's your answer. If Tesla builds this at $10,579, what were others doing with your $40,000? Protecting margins built on artificial scarcity. They sold you the lie that premium features required premium prices. The truth? Better design doesn't cost more. It requires caring about what matters. The Model 2 exposes decades of engineered inefficiency. Cool glass, smart hatches, winterproof handles, efficient wipers, protective cladding, readable charging, flood-ready underbodies. None needed breakthrough technology. Just better questions. This is just the beginning. If Tesla forces legacy brands to match these features at this price, the old model collapses. Within 24 months, Brands either justify their cost with real innovation or disappear. What disrupts next? Batteries? Charging? Or will someone actually compete? Drop your prediction. This is tech revolution. We cut through hype to show what matters. For more analysis like this, you know where to find us. The Model 2 proves the future doesn't cost more. It just needs better design. Tesla just shattered the EV market with a $10,395 price tag. But that's not the shocking part. The Model 2 is finally here, and it's doing something radical. Removing 30 to 40% of traditional car parts. Fewer air vents, fewer switches, fewer things that break. Why is Tesla stripping down instead of adding features? What do they know about reliability that other automakers don't? Here's the kicker. At highway speeds, this budget EV runs 3 to 5 decibels quieter than gas sedans. You can talk normally at 65 miles per hour without shouting over road noise. How did Tesla make a $10,000 car quieter than your $30,000 Honda? And here's what's truly shocking. By cutting those parts, owners could save $150 to 